How come more people don't know about this luxury LA resort? We're here at the Ternary Resort for the next 48 hours. I'm Amma, this is Raj, and we have two twin toddlers, Rain and Zane. We quit our 9 to 5 jobs to travel full time as a family. On our very first trip, we drove from Arizona to California to visit the Terranea Resort, located in Palos Verde, LA County. Come along to find out if it was worth it. We're here celebrating Raj's birthday. Yeah! This isn't our first time here, but it is our first time with the twins. We had an amazing time last time. Hopefully it's just as good. And we got such a great deal on this place, so stick around to the end of the video and I'll let you know what deal we got. Come on, let's experience this resort. All the way to the end. We arrived to the hotel and checked in immediately. Prior to checking, we were hoping our room was going to be ready. So, did we get early check-in? We didn't. Aww. We got here at 11 a.m. We didn't get early check-in. But we're gonna try and use some of the amenities, go for lunch, and hopefully then we'll check into the room. I'm really looking forward to the room because we're very tired. This is our first trip after a long time. Hopefully the beds are very comfortable and we have enough space for all of us. Maybe we'll go grab some lunch right now. I don't think we got early check-in. No check-in. Do you like your wear yours? I like my wheels. Yeah? The concierge was so nice giving us those whales. Yeah. We're at Nelson's having drinks. Drinks are around $17 for a mixed cocktail and uh, every dish is over 20 so quite expensive but we'll see how the quality is. Yeah, we just thought we'd come here for lunch while we're waiting for our room. We're fingers crossed our room will be ready soon. Here we got a grilled swordfish taco. The fish is not fishy, which makes me believe it's fresh. The, the crema and the cabbage give us this nice crunch alongside the pico de gallo. So, and the American Kids Classic Chicken Tenders for $14 one kid's meal. How are the chicken tenders, Rain? <laughs> How are the chicken tenders, Rain? So our conclusion at Nelson's, uh, the food was average, but we had a really good time. It was fun. And the boys enjoyed their meal. Let's say about a 6 out of 10. I think the highlight for me is the amazing view here. And apparently it's well season, but we haven't seen any wells. Maybe we'll just keep an eye out in the next couple of days. After lunch, we hung around the resort. The concierge chef then notified us that our room was ready. I have a whole separate room tour, which I've linked in this video and below. So go check it out. We're at the Catalina Kitchen today for dinner from 46. Cheers, happy birthday. And, and we got lucky because they're having this special buffet. So they got all these different types of seafood, normal food, stuff for the kids. So it's really good. We didn't know it was going to be just a buffet, so I think we got kind of lucky with the variety that's here. It's $73 per person, the kids eat buffet. Rain, what are you eating? Birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Raj. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Oh, thank you so much. Yay! The kitchen was pretty good, but I would say it's pretty pricey, but then I think California is really pricey right now, so you can't really get away from it. We had a good time. I thought the food was decent, especially for a buffet. It's just that me and him don't eat a significant amount to make up for that. But then on the regular menu, one dish was 30, 40, 50 dollars, so. And the kids were free. Yeah, the kids were free, so maybe it would have been, we would have broke even in the end, so. We had a nice time. I thought the ambiance was really nice. Sitting outside and we had the heater on and you had the ocean sound of the ocean waves. Yeah, it was nice. It was a good time. It was a good evening. Now we're just headed to bed to get these two to bed so we can rest up for tomorrow. Adventures. Good morning from the Terranea. Today is day two. And we've just woken up to watch the sunrise. It's a pretty scene and the weather's amazing. Slightly cool with a slight ocean breeze, no heat, which is welcoming coming from Arizona. Hi, baby. Hi. Are you watching the sunrise? Um, Rain just said hi, mommy and daddy to complete strangers. So now we're questioning everything. <laughs> Can we see any, are there any whales in there? Come on, Zane. 
today we're going to experience all the activities the resort has to offer starting off with a little hike there is a trail on property which takes you to the lighthouse and there's also a complimentary guided hike on saturday mornings if you want to take that we do have these leashes on which really help us because these two little guys like to run away from us so that's a tip if you do have extremely active runaway toddlers i highly recommend a leash in places like this so they don't just run away and then you're therefore just running um yeah so we're just going to experience this slight hike um i don't think it's anything strenuous but the views are incredible is she hi hi off in the distance you could see some dolphin pods and as I mentioned it's whale season so maybe we'll end up seeing some whales I don't know if you could just see the tips of their fins popping out Wow This hike's perfect for activities to keep the boys busy because it gets them tired throughout the day after our walk, we went to get some pancakes from Sea Beans. They have a build your own pancake bar. I have to say the pancakes were a 10 out of 10. We were pleasantly surprised. They were so delicious and I highly recommend it. Where are we going now? Hey. Yeah, we're going to the pool. You guys have been swimming for the last four months. Let's see if you can swim by yourselves now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're really excited to get to the pool and I heard yeah. them serving tacos and margaritas. So maybe daddy and I can wow. relax. Just yeah. just maybe, but I'm not too sure when these two are around. Let's yeah. go have some fun. Come yeah. on. Turn to me. One, two, three, go. Kick, kick, kick. The pool at the resort was really fun. They had a little splash pad, slide, pool, and a jacuzzi. Hey, are you having a good time? Oh, yeah. Kids club is going to open up at 10. And then when they go to the kids club, me and him are going to go get massages. Mm -hmm. So they can't go. Why? You have to be three years old and potty trained. They're potty trained, but not three years old. So I can't go to the spa. <laughs> well, that's okay. You can go alone. It's your birthday. Mm. Oh, you're mad too. Why are you mad? Okay, tired now. You want to go kids club? Yeah, we wanted you to go too. So I just got done with my 90 minute massage, uh, deep tissue, it was really good. Um, the amenities were great, I think overall I'd give it an 8.5 solid score, had a great time, relaxed, and um, it was a great massage at the end of the day with some great amenities. How was your tacos? Pretty good. Um, I like the chicken better than the beef, but... I was pretty surprised by these tacos by the poolside. Wasn't expecting much. Hey, Reen. Hey, Zing. You want dinner? At our final meal, Rain and Zane are busy coloring and watching a movie, living their best life. As long as we have them busy, that's all that matters. We're at Bashi for birthday dinner number two. I believe it's, it's uh, Asian centric. Because there's some Chinese dishes in there, and then I saw some Japanese stuff in there too. It's our final night, so we're enjoying our last dinner here. Okay. Happy birthday! Cheers! I have a lychee martini, and he has a blood orange margarita. So we just finished here at, at Bashi's in Terranea Resort and I have to give it a 6 out of 10. The sea bass that we ordered was frozen. It wasn't actually frozen when we ate it, but it was a frozen fillet. So if you're going to a, a fine dining restaurant and paying $50 for a piece of fish, it shouldn't be frozen. That knocked a lot of points for us. Everything was pretty average. That's where, why my rating is 6 out of 10. Now we're just headed to bed and we're going to give our final thoughts on what we thought of this resort. 
in the morning. We've been at the Terranea now for 48 hours and we want to give our final thoughts and review on this hotel. We'll be reviewing these five categories up on the screen and starting off with our check-in experience. And honestly, the, the check-in experience was not that great. When we first arrived, there was no one at the front desk to greet us. It took a little bit to somebody to get out there. And when we did ask for an early check-in, uh, they weren't really committal on whether they'd give us one or not. So it kind of gave us a little sour taste on the mouth to start the weekend. You know, just to rate the whole check-in experience, five out of 10. But the concierge experience really did help us. They are, I would say, a standout at this resort. They made an effort to make sure they let us know when the room was ready. They even made a phone call to housekeeping to see if our room had been inspected because it was clean and not inspected. We didn't receive a text when our room was ready, so we could have been waiting for hours and hours and hours. So good thing we did check in with the concierge. I think the check-in experience does let this resort down. So moving on to service. The service of it, I, I mean, the service at the resort, they were outstanding. Eight out of 10 score. They were really child friendly with us. And they went the extra mile when we, whenever we needed something. We ran into the GM and uh, we were just trying to get the stroll up the stairs and he helped us out so uh, service was excellent at the resort and moving on to child friendliness which is a big deal to us we do have two toddlers and toddlers are not the most cooperative mm -hmm. at times so we give the child friendliness a whopping nine out of ten we didn't feel uncomfortable at all in the restaurants or in the common areas so a nine out of ten moving on to the dining you know, the dining was something that definitely let us down, especially with how expensive everything was. I was definitely expecting significantly better food for the price that we paid. I felt like it was kind of like a cruise ship type quality. Mm. Just nothing really ever popped at any of the restaurants we went to. I want to say it's going to be six and a half out of ten. At the room, we do have a room tour, which we have uploaded before this video, so go check it out if you haven't already. We love the room, it's spacious, it's one and a half bathroom, we had ample space, they had ample space to run around, so we give that a 9 out of 10. And then finally, the location. The location, you just can't beat it. The epic views around the whole resort, um, from your balcony to anywhere you are, you just can't beat it. 9 out of 10 for location, uh, simply amazing. Uh, location for the resort. Talking about prices, I just wanted to let you know how I got a great deal on this room. This room does go for a thousand dollars a night, but we did not pay a thousand dollars for night. On the website, there are several offers, and during the holidays, they had a buy one night, get one free. So I totally took them up on that. So we bought this one bedroom suite for two nights. So it was buy one, get one free. So we got the whole stay for in just, I think it was $1,200 including taxes. But in addition to that, I had an American Express offer on my gold card where it had a Terranea offer of spend $1,000 or more and get $200 back. I selected that offer and I got $200 off on my Amex Gold. We do have an Amex Gold link, which is in my description below. If you wanna see more resort videos, make sure you give this video a like. It really helps the channel grow.